hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be sharing with you guys five fun facts you should know about university of uyo if you are an intending university of uyo student you probably have already put in you in your jam sleep or you are about to you have intentions of doing that then this video is definitely for you I've actually created a pretty short list that is going to help us carry out the purpose for today. The first thing you should know about University of Uyo is that it is a federal school. So there are different categories of schools or colleges here in Nigeria. You're going to see federal schools, you're going to see private schools, and then you're going to see polytechnics. There are probably others, but um, these are the main three ones you would likely want to consider when you're trying to fill in your jam form. So if you want to go into a federal university, a federal university are uh, government-owned universities. They are not privately owned, unlike the private universities. And also, when it comes to finances, it's also really subsidized. University of Uyo is actually a federal university. So when it comes to school fees payments, when it comes to the payments of hostel, hostel accommodation, or even feeding, all these things are usually subsidized. So that's the first thing you should know about University of Uyo. You have the opportunity if maybe you're looking for a college that you'll be able to afford based on what you think you already have on based on finances actually you can consider any other federal school which university of Uyo is part of but if you want to go for something higher you can definitely and you can afford it you can definitely go for a private university so the second thing you should know about university of Uyo, so university of Uyo is open to admitting students from different tribes from different areas personally from river states but then i went to aquarium states to seek admission in university of uyo and it was not such a hassle for me because university of uyo admits students from different tribes other universities are actually that open to accepting students but uh, in nigeria we tend to see cases of maybe an instance where you get into or you're about to get into a particular university and then you hear things like oh they are usually discriminatory towards non-indigenous and all i don't know about all other forms of universities because i can only tell about my own alma mater so for university of Uyo, there is actually no such discrimination it wasn't so difficult for me as a river state student as a river state indigenous rather to get into university of Uyo. i'm probably going to get arrested for saying this but university of Uyo is that non-discriminatory towards admitting students to the extent that they even admit cows yes t-o-w-s cows it's funny now that i'm saying it because it's funny now that i'm actually saying it but while in the school i saw this as one of the most annoying things and then it's something that i wish someone had told me before i got into the school because maybe i might have reconsidered i don't know this is not to deter you in any form i mean the cows are absolutely harmless not like i was not scared of it but you can imagine going for class or you're going to the cafeteria or you're going to the hostel and then you're just seeing cows around although it's not everywhere trust me like we have um areas where they don't go to but then the areas where they actually are i genuinely feel that they should be tamed they should be tamed from being in those areas because while in the school i found it really uncomfortable i mean coming out and then seeing cow poop around the entire place was it was it wasn't nice at all or coming out even the mere sight of seeing the cows i mean there are some people that were not scared of it but i personally was i didn't like i don't actually like cows especially being up close to them so a lot of persons will find that really uncomfortable uh and i really think that should be changed and uh, number three is that i invest with you you knew you for short i think i should use you new for the essence of the rest of this video you knew you has three campuses so the first campus is the annex campus then the second campus is the town campus and then the third campus is the permanent sites so the first campus annex campus is smaller and then that's where you see faculties like faculty of law i think communication art should still be there i don't know if they've moved there but communication art was there as of when i was still there theater arts was there but they've moved them to the permanent sites 
so you're going to see some small faculties that can that don't necessarily need you know big buildings architecture is also there and then you go over to the town campus so the town campus is wider obviously than the annex campus so the annex campus you see the girls hostel and then the we have they have only one boys hostel which i also see as something that needs to be changed because genuinely i've not entered inside but it's a little uncomfortable and that should definitely be changed so maybe they should have have other boys hostel i think there is another boys hostel a bigger building for those as the permanent size which is under construction but um even before these other people the other faculties move over to the permanent size i generally feel that there should be more um facilities provided in that respect as a fresher i used to have my board courses in the town campus so although i had my hostel in the annex area i had to move over and trek over to the town campus just to have my lectures which uh, is not the most interesting thing especially if you if you have an afternoon class it's not really very comfortable to just be strolling in the sun hot sun looking for your gst venue the permanent site is way bigger so when you imagine what your university should look like i think the permanent site depicts what it should look like really wide really big the one where you have to enter a shuttle from the gate for you to be able to enter inside because the distance is obviously really far and then that's where the engineering students are and some other science faculties and departments so although there are a lot of buildings there that are still under construction and for example the faculty of law building is still under construction so um that is there and then i know that subsequently they will have to move a lot of the faculties in the annex area and in the town campus area down to the permanent sites but all that is still ongoing so hopefully in the next maybe two three years or maybe more maybe less i really don't know how long they'll take maybe before a particular period of time they should have already settled all that the fourth thing you should know about university of uyo is we all um have to go through the process of gst so the general studies is compulsory for every fresher so as a fresher you have to um offer gst as a course so whether you're a science student whether you're an art student you're in faculty of law you're in engineering you're in nursing you're in dentistry you have you definitely have to do gst it's a compulsory course so the pattern of writing these gsts usually used to be handwritten so they use the analogous paper form of writing um, gst exams but recently it has been changed and amended in the sense that gsts are now being moved to being written using computer so just as the way you write your jam um, every other CBT exam, that's how GST is in the University of Uyo, is now moving to be written. So although this is a new thing, and then the school is obviously trying to get themselves more facilitated um, into this whole new process. Previous GST exams as of um, this last semester, this year, was written through the CBT form generally i feel like the whole process of writing gst through the cbt form was really rushed and not thoroughly planned because the people who wrote it i i had to i got to see them or hear them talk you know post stuff like that complain about the whole process some persons even fainted because of the rigorous process of having to stand and line up for um to make use of the computer systems and then the computer systems were not obviously were obviously not even enough and all but i know that for next time they are going to do better they are going to improve the whole process of writing gst and i believe do hope that the whole stress students went through just to write gst exams is going to be amended and made at least more comfortable the last thing you should know about University of Uyu is the issue of ASU strike. Yeah. I mean, it's not even possible for me to do a fun fact about any federal school without including ASU strike. Is there, I don't think there is anybody who has gone through any federal school that did not have the sting of ASU on their skin. It's really, it's not nice it's it's not it's not very good to think about 
I really believe and I do know that considering the possibility of a strike is something you should definitely consider. So because where you can have like a four-year program and then they start a strike while in school i unfortunately had to go through one very long strike that kept me at home for nine months then plus the coronavirus period so i almost spent um an extra two years in school for a five-year program that i should have finished two years ago so i had to spend more time so i i know this particular one is one disadvantage not only university of Oyo, but any federal school this is one disadvantage of having to go to any federal school so aside the fact that it's subsidized and all and uh, maybe a few more advantages which are obviously there in federal schools you definitely have to see the possibility of an impedi strike because strikes will definitely happen never really can tell for the purpose of this video i'm going to end here these are five main things you should know definitely about university of uyo before you enter maybe you've already included it in your jam for maybe as your first choice or your second choice so if you've already or maybe you've already gotten admission or your you have plans of looking for a school and maybe university of uyo crosses your mind or you've probably even never heard of university of uyo but maybe through this video or through another means you hear about university of uyo before i put university of uyo in my jam form i never heard about university of uyo i just heard it from a loved one who mentioned it but do not forget to hit the notification button like leave a comment if maybe you're a uni student and you feel i've said something that needs to be corrected i'm definitely open for correction so you can do that by leaving a comment in the comment section and maybe if you have any question if you're intending university of your students and then you have any question uh, you can also do that by indicate by leaving a comment in the comment section have a wonderful day thank you and god bless you